Today in this video I am going to explain you how to solve a warning related to no deobfuscation file in Google Play console. The solution is very simple but I want you to know what is obfuscation, how to do it properly and what is the use of obfuscation and how do you include deobfuscation file in Android bundle. All these things I am going to discuss it today. So watch the video without skipping. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. When I tried uploading the updates of my existing app under closed testing, I have received this warning. The warning is there is no deobfuscation file associated with this app bundle. If you use obfuscated code, uploading a deobfuscation file will make crashes and ANRs easier to analyze and debug. Using R8 or ProGuard can help reduce app size. Even without fixing this warning, you can release the build, but it is better to understand about this warning and solve it before releasing the app. Because your app gets benefited on fixing this warning. So let's click learn more here. For any doubts or warnings or errors, it is always better to go to Android developer site because you can find solutions for most of your problems here. So here, if you see, they have user guide on shrinking, obfuscate and optimize your app. To make your app as small as possible, you should enable shrinking in your release build to remove unused code and resources. When enabling shrinking, you also benefit from obfuscation which shortens the names of your apps, classes and members means obfuscation makes your code simple and short which results in reduced file size. Also shrinking will remove unused code and resources. And optimization which applies more aggressive strategies to further reduce the size of your app. So in our recent Android Studio versions, the Gradle plugin uses R8 compiler to handle all this shrinking, obfuscation and optimization. Here first see how obfuscation is done using R8. If you see in this example, all these fields are renamed to some short names and also package names are modified. This way, significant size savings can be seen in apps with DEX files by indexing the classes, methods and fields. By doing this, even if somebody downloads your app's APK or AAB file and try to trace the source code, they can't understand because obfuscation renamed different parts of your code which makes a stack trace difficult to understand. But to retracing, R8 creates a mapping.txt file which contains the information needed to map stack traces back to the original stack traces. So when publishing your app in Google Play, you can upload the mapping.txt file. But when publishing using Android app bundles, this file is included automatically as part of the app bundle content. But in our app bundle, we are missing this file. In Play Console, the warning says no deobfuscation file associated with this app bundle. So let's see how to solve this by including the proper obfuscation method. See here, by setting minify enabled true, we can enable code shrinking, obfuscation and optimization in the release build. And shrink resources true enables resource shrinking. Okay, go to Android Studio. See here, minify enabled was false and release build size is 10.3 MB. Okay. Copy these two lines for shrinking and obfuscation. Paste it in the build.gradle file. And also change the version code and name because the build with the same version code is not accepted by Google Play Console. Okay. Rebuild the project. Now generate signed Android app bundle. Okay, see uh, AAB file got generated, open, here the size is 8.9 MB and the previous build size was 10.3 MB. That means almost 1.4 MB got reduced because of the obfuscation. Okay, let's upload this build file, go to play console, discard the release and create new release. Okay, now go to release folder of your app and drag the AAB file. File uploaded now, review release. 
see there is no warning here and build is ready to release ok click on start rollout to close testing this way you add these two properties to your build.gradle file obfuscate the code and reduce the app size and also the warning also gone and you can also try using other tips mentioned in this page to customize and reduce your app size still further like uh, removing unused resources, merging duplicate resources and enabling more aggressive optimization methods etc. Hope you understood the concept of obfuscation and fix the warning related to no obfuscation file by watching this video. If you like uh, my explanation please like, comment and subscribe to Iraka Tech Solutions. Thank you.